Let's in 5, 3, dividing polynomials. How do we divide polynomials? Well, that's, you know, question mark. Um, I, I do know how to divide numbers. Let's try 121 divided by 9. So we, back in, like, third grade, eh, it might have been fifth, I was taught to do this, where the bottom piece goes here and the top piece goes here. And then we say, well, how many nines can we get in there? And we get one here. We do this, and we subtract it. We're left with 31, and we can fit three of those in here. 27, subtract it. Get a remainder of four. So we would say that 121 divided by 9 equals 13 and 4 ninths. Nine would come all the way back around here, and the remainder would go right there. So, let's try it with some polynomials. If we do the same thing, um, we're dividing this big ugly one. 4x third plus 8x squared plus 10x by 2x. And this is where life gets a little tricky. How many times is 2 going to 4? Well, that's easy. It goes in twice. But how many times is x going to x to 3rd? And that doesn't really help people out. So what I like to say is, what do I got to multiply x by to get x to the 3rd? And at this point, I'm fairly confident I got it right, but I got to check. I multiply these. 2 times 2 is 4. x squared times x is x to the 3rd. Did I get the same thing here? I did, and I did it right. What did we do before? We subtracted. We're left with 8x squared plus 10x. Do it again. I believe 4x would go in there. 4 times 2 is 8. x times x is x squared. Negative. Try it one more time. Plus 5. 5 times 2x is 10x negative, and we end up with a remainder of 0, which you always put a happy face in. Otherwise, you're probably a communist or something like that. So, what do we just do? We said 4x to the third plus 8x squared plus 10x divided by 2x equals. 2x squared plus 4x plus 5. No remainder, so we're done. Except for the fact that I need to put a little semicolon here and say x cannot equal 0. And I need to do that because of this right here. I cannot have 0 on the bottom of the fraction. And I've just reduced this and made something that doesn't have a fraction. So if I forget that, well, I still can't put in 0 because we have to base it on the original equation. That's bad. Do it again. How many times is x going to x squared? x times x is x squared. Now I gotta do the other piece. x times negative 1 is negative x. Subtract it, which means changing all of it. 3x minus 3. Three. 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative plus remainder of 0 x squared plus 2x minus 3 all over x minus 1 equals x plus 3 x cannot equal 1 so we put a 1 in here we'll blow up our equation so we've divided it reduced it simplified it whatever you feel like calling but we always have to be aware of what the original equation was a few things to watch out for might not be in the right order so y plus 2 into y squared plus 5y plus 4. I'm just 
going to do this one relatively quickly. Don't really have as much room here as I'd like. So I always like to write it out when I'm done just because it helps me keep it straight. y squared plus 5y plus 4 over y plus 2 equals y plus 3 plus I have a remainder of negative 2 and just like up top I put it here and then we say y cannot equal negative 2. It's a lot, it's a lot of stuff that you really gotta how to practice this stuff. Here's one for you to practice, and I'm gonna do it. So if you want to do it, pause it. But I would wait till I do this. What's missing in between those two? Well, the m is there's an m squared, and then there's nothing constant. So you need to put a zero m in here. Give it a shot if you want. I'm gonna blast it out very quickly. That's it. It's a lot. It's a lot. And we're not even halfway done. So, that's a pain. There's no other way to describe it. It's called long division of polynomials, and it's challenging. There's another technique here. This is how it works. I'll just show you, and you can figure out why I do it. 2 times 4 goes here. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 29. This is called synthetic division. And what the heck? Who cares? I mean, you got a bunch of numbers here. I don't know what they mean. Well, I'll show you what they mean. This up here, this is the m minus 2. This right here is 4m squared plus 0m, which I'm not going to do, plus 13. 4m squared plus 13 over m minus 2 right there. What do we get when we divide them? Right here. 4m plus 8 plus my remainder, 29. Over m minus 2, m cannot equal 2. So how do they match up? Right there. Let's do an example. This really does take some getting used to. Do that. The solution of this equals zero goes there. So it's not negative two. It's two. And here goes 5 for the x to the third, negative 13 for x squared, 10 for the x, and negative 8. Draw a line, bring the 5 down. 5 times 2 is 10, negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 4 times 4 is 8. 0. No remainder. Life is good. So, 5x to the third. Five x to the third minus thirteen x squared plus ten x minus eight over x minus two equals. Can you figure it out? A lot of people want to call it x to the third. It's x squared. It's x. It's the 
constant. 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. No remainder, remainder, but we also have to say x cannot equal. There it is. Just learned a ton, a ton, and just to make our lives even more miserable, we'll take this and mess with it. We cannot have a number out front. We gotta divide that out. So divide by two. Get x plus one half equals zero. X equals negative one half, and that is what goes up in the box. We go eight, careful, zero, negative four, one, four. Bring the eight down, negative one half is negative four, bring that down with zero. Negative one half is two, bring down negative two. One, one plus one is two. Negative one half is negative one, Our remainder is three. I feel like I've made a mistake. Nope, that looks about right. So, here's our answer. I'm not going to write the problem for a change. Now i got to go through this. Constant x, x squared, x to the third. 8x to the third minus 4x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus 3 over x plus 1 half. I don't like this. We gotta get rid of it. We're gonna multiply top and bottom by 2. So that we get 8x to the third minus 4x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus 6 over 2x plus 1. x cannot equal negative 1 half. This is going to take some practice, especially if you haven't seen it before. This is an extraordinarily useful tool, the synthetic division. So you have to definitely get good at it. It'll pop up at least a half a dozen times in different spots, in graphing, in calculus, in um, finding roots, things like that. That's it. Good luck.